Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. As you know by the title, in this video we are going to write a C program and draw a flowchart to print reverse of a number. So let's start by discussing the logic first, what logic we are going to apply in this code and flowchart to find the reverse of a number. So what we are going to do, let's suppose the number entered by the user is 2, 3, 4, 234. This is the number that the user has, that the user has input. Okay, so we have to, what will be the output? This is the input. So what is the desired output for this input? It is 4, 3, 2, right? So how we will uh, find this? So the logic that we are going to apply is we will uh, run a while loop a while loop till n not equals to 0. This will be the while loop, right? And inside this while loop, we will take a variable remainder where we will find the remainder of a number. And then what we will do, we will take a variable reverse sorry rev for reverse there we will initially put reverse is equals to 0 and here we will multiply it by 10 plus we will add the remainder right then again we will this is the condition of while loop again we will divide the number so this is how we will do so what will happen let me discuss the dry run here itself after this we will draw the flowchart so dry run will be the number is 234 so uh, remainder will be 234 modulus 10 that will be 4 so rev will be uh, rev initially is 0 reverse into 10 plus 4 so it will be 4 rev and n will be 23 234 divided by 10 will be 23 right again the condition will be checked 23 not equals to 0 condition true then again we will find the remainder again the remainder of 23 23 modulus 10 will be 3 so here it will be 4 into 10 rev was 4 into 10 plus remainder that is 3 so we will have here we will have here 43 right then n will be n modulus 10 n is 23 23 divided by 10 sorry not modulus uh, by 10 will be 10 twos are 2 right now n n is 2 2 not equals to 0 condition true remainder 2 modulus 10 will be 2 right so here will be 20, 43 into 10 plus 2 remainder is 2 so this will be 4 32 right here n modulus 10 will be 0 2 by 10 sorry i'm all always using modulus i'm sorry uh, by 10 2 divided by 10 will be 0 so it will be it will again check the condition here 0 not equals to 0 condition true because 0 is obviously equals to 0 so this condition will be false it will come out of the loop and after coming out of the loop we will print after this condition is false, we'll come out of the loop and we'll print the value of REV, right? And REV has 432, that is the reverse of the number that we need. So I hope you understood the logic that we are applying. I've already shown you the dry run, so I'll just draw the flowchart for you guys and then we will write the code. So let's first start by drawing the flowchart. Start. What we did, we need to assign REV to 0. So we will do the assignment part first. REV 0. Right? And then we have to input a number that we need to reverse. So in a parallelogram, we will write input n. Okay. Then, then, we what, then what we have to do? We have to draw a rhombus for while loop and we always use if we never use while in flowcharts so if what 
what condition we used n modulus n by 10 not equals to sorry not n by 10 n not equals to 0 so it will be if n not equals to 0 question mark if this is true we will do all three these three operations inside this block so we will have here three operations first is REM is equals to n modulus 10 then REV is equals to REV into 10 plus REM then n is equals to n by 10 and what we do in while loop we connect this to the top of the condition so this is how we do and if this condition is false what did we do if the condition was false in the try run what what did we do our condi after the condition was false what did we do we just print the value of rev okay so we'll do the same here we'll just write here print rev and then stop so this is the flow chart of the code This is the code it is pretty simple after we understood the logic of the code and uh, we draw the flow chart it was pretty easy for us to write the code for the same uh, you can take a screenshot of the code uh, it is very simple as we did in the flow charts the same logic everything it is just the code so this is all for this video I hope you guys understood thank you so much for watching and please do consider subscribing and hit that like button if these lectures are really helpful to you.